Hey, I'm Chris Lang, and this is a piece from Pipeline by Dominique Morisseau. I was sitting in class, listening to the lesson. I was gonna be a silent observer. I had woke up that day thinking about you, like I didn't know what I wanted to say to you, but I knew I wanted to say something to you. So I called you, but you didn't answer, so I went to class. And I was sitting in class, listening to the lesson, right? We talking about Native Son, about the character Bigger Thomas and who he was and what led him to his act of rage. Teacher kept saying he was unleashed and I kept thinking animal. And we discussing this Bigger Thomas, right? Discussing his social circumstances and what he comes from and this and that. Single mother, that got brought up. And one of the students said he only had his mother. And I'm sitting there listening to this on a day where I woke up thinking about you. Tell you I had a feeling about getting these checks. That I hadn't seen or talked to you in weeks and where you been. But you didn't answer your phone, so I went to class. And when the teacher come asking me what I thought, I felt like he was saying something to me. You know, because he knew I was sitting there th thinking about you. And that's when he started saying, oh, Mr. Joseph, what made Bigger Thomas do that to that girl? What were his social limitations? What made the animal in him explode? And I'm like, yo, I don't want to talk about it, man. Because all I'm thinking about is you. And how I hadn't seen or talked to you in weeks, but I get this check on time, like it's automated, like, like the bank sent it to me. And I wanted to know, yo, do you even mail it? Like, is it even personal? Or is it just some robotic routine responsibility? And I'm like, yo, who does that, man? What kind of nigga sends checks and calls that fatherhood? And when we discussing this bigger Thomas about his circumstances, the animals exploded and this and that, and I'm like, yo, don't call on me, man. I don't have the answer.